after watching this video, you will also be able to design a perfect pommel for your weapon. Perhaps something like this. This is the pommel that I'm currently using on my Spanish small sword project. So let's begin. Let's begin designing our pommel. If you don't have an imagination for the shape of your pommel, you can always support yourself by the photos and designs from uh, the book by Mr. Norman. Uh, let me get an example for you. We've got a lot of weapons that were used over the many centuries and there's a deep analysis of the pommels, of the blades, of the hilts and so on. So if you will ever want to make a weapon, this book is highly recommendable and later you've got all the descriptions and other pommels that you can use for designing your weapon, for designing your pommel. So now I'm going to show you how I design my pommels since I don't have the proper tool for now and I'm using a third party services to do them for me, but still I have to design them. So let's get into our program and for that purpose I'm going to use a Design Spark because it's free and it was easiest for me to learn. First what we gotta do, we have to make a new file and we have our mesh. We will turn that mesh so we can see it from the top. And now that we can see it from the top, we have to draw our pommel. And I'm going to start by drawing the straight line because that's going to be my mirror line. And thanks to that, if I'm going to draw something, then that line will be making a mirror image on the other side, so I won't have to draw it the second time. I know that my pommel is supposed to be around, let's say, 15 millimeters on the base. So the handle will be 15 millimeters wide and so to have a smooth transition, our pommel will have to have a starting base of also 15 millimeters. Because of that, I'm going to draw a line that's 7.5 millimeters wide. And as you can see, in total, we got 15 millimeters of line. So the base is done. Now, let's assume that we want to have a straight line ahead that's going to be about five millimeters high i want to have it around three millimeters and the arc i think is going to be 90 degrees so we have a nice transition from the base onto the top part and now let's design the top part We will take the tangent arc again and huh, I think I'm doing this mostly by eye. I think this will, will do nicely. How about this? Yeah, this will work. Okay, so we've got our pommel fairly drew. Now let's check the dimensions. This tool over here is usable for making the dimension. And our pommel is around 3 centimeters in height. That's fairly okay. It's 15 millimeters, so 1.5 centimeters wide at the base and the upper part is only a slightly wider thing because it's 1.7 millimeter wide so that's our pommel for a start that's our first pommel and i think it's quite okay so what we're going to do now is going to delete that mirror line 
we're going to disable the measurements so you have to go to structure and check that box out so we have our pommel without any destructors and when you're designing a pommel there's one thing that you're not supposed to forget always remember to order a pommel with an initial cut for the initial drill for the thread and that's what we're going to do now two millimeters to one side now we can make a four millimeter and we have to take the line down now we have a basic design of our pommel and we can look it better by changing the shape the, the background sorry and that's it we could send it like that to another company and they would make that pommel for us but there are few other options that we can use for our design and that is 3d modeling of the pommel and checking its mass how much it's going to weight and those two factors are something that is very useful for us so first we're going to back to the sketch mode and from this point we're going to make a straight line again because that line will divide our pommel by two and now we can use the uh, pull option <laughs> so we can make a 3d object for the visualization of our pommel we will have to click on the left side and now we're going to use this uh, revolve tool and by holding alt we're clicking on the mid line I'm changing the perspective so you can see it better I'm still in the pool and check this out now I can have give me a second yeah my pommel in 3d now that is useful the best option when you're making a project in this is calculating the mass of the pommel and for that we will have to get back to the oh no actually we can use the measure panel uh, we're clicking on the measure mass properties and we're clicking on the on the object and on the bottom right you've got some calculations but first we need to estimate what material we're going to use we go to properties and here you have a material name that's irrelevant but we can choose from what we are going to make the pommel for now we're going to assume that we're making this pommel of a simple plain steel we're clicking on the steel okay and now we've got the mass of our pommel and our pommel is going to be around 30 grams perhaps in the future i will have a life of my own so that i will be able to make the pommels here in the workshop but for now i have to use a third party companies to do it for me but the design is still fully mine i hope that you will subscribe to my channel since the subscriptions and the comments uh, they keep me motivated to making another videos and also I will leave you with a few close-ups of the pommels I have made so far.